Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Well, it's been quite the day. Okay. This video is number one thing to store is canned vegetables to make soup and bread. Like what? Okay. Uh, what I did is I started searching around. I have a new vegetarian cookbook coming any day. I can't wait. But this is really a good cookbook if you can get a chance so uh in here they have um oh no where is it oh here it is a really good recipe for uh corn chowder okay corn chowder takes 15 minutes um three ounces of butter so what i did is i'll tell you the order i did but I want to put the butter in now. Three tablespoons. This is my homemade butter. I just made out out of heavy cream. But I also had a good um a good butter recipe that was made out of uh, sour cream and milk, which is a lot cheaper. Uh, the smart and final butter is good, so I'll get approximately uh, three tablespoons of butter two and three so this is going to give you a little good fat i'm not sure if all vegetarians eat butter and then uh, okay it calls for uh three tablespoons of heavy cream so i had coffee creamer this stuff and it's one third cup coffee creamer, one third, two, one cup milk. So let's see, uh, do I have a maybe? Okay, three tablespoons. One, this is coffee creamer. You could use evaporated milk, you could use regular milk, I'm sure. And then it calls for uh, one cup grated cheddar cheese. So I have this. Uh, cheese that I bought uh, a big block not last month uh, this month I bought jalapeno cheese but I think about this much will be good enough for this little batch of soup so I'll just break it it was frozen so I will just melt this in here and it all already tastes really good okay with this kind of stuff I would just use if you have everything okay fine if you don't have everything just use what you have. It's still going to turn out good. Uh, if you don't have a uh, vegetable stock and you have some vegetables, just boil those down first. And uh, that's going to give you a vegetable taste. Okay, so let's just let this melt for a minute. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, one large onion. I use dry onion. I used about a little handful, you know, in the palm of my hand. Uh, I had uh, one clove garlic. I use garlic salt, maybe about a half a teaspoon. Uh, two tablespoons cumin seeds. I just used about a half a teaspoon of cumin um four cups vegetable stock so i added the vegetable stock and the um onions garlic and cumin and two medium potatoes i had three small potatoes so uh everything was in the beef or in the vegetable stock then i added it says one cup but i just i had these it is so important to stockpile cans. I had cream corn and I have regular corn. I drained my uh, regular corn and I just uh, added the whole can. Uh, three tablespoons parsley and then, you know, uh, salt and pepper and chives. So I just used, so I had um, dry onion. I had um, garlic salt, 
and I had chives dry. I was stuck up and then I had um, cumin. So I just added a little bit of that. And then I still have a few potatoes. I go through about five pounds a month and that's eating all the potatoes I possibly can handle. So uh, this is looking pretty good. I hope it's showing. Let me take a look and see. Okay, it's really important that my front burner is showing, is it? Ooh, I think it could be down a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. This might cut off the top of my head, but that is okay. So you can see my um, soup looks good. Okay, and then at the end, you saw me, I added the butter the coffee creamer for cream and the cheese. So I want to let that cook for a minute and I'll give you the recipe. Yikes, this is scary. Okay, back here I have hot oil. Yikes. Okay, that was a pretty smooth maneuver. Let me give you the actual recipe here. So if you have cream corn, uh, the old-fashioned way, I think we just use cream corn. You can also put your cream corn in your uh, grits if you want to. Mainly, let me get this part. The ingredients, and here's the front of the cookbook. Okay, so now... Uh, so, okay, so this is all out of the stockpile. So today I got up and I thought, you know, I'm just going to do the spring cleaning uh, now. I am just going to clean the front yard, the backyard, the house, the garage, the cars, and I'm going to get dirt and load it down here now and just get that over with. Just get all the stuff over with that I have to do. Uh, like I did when I planted the garden. And now, if you would like to see my garden, go to uh, rstone619-2008. So here is the, the fry bread that I've showed you, but I want to keep showing you. So if you have soup and if you have bread, especially fry bread, because you don't really need uh, butter with fry bread. You can just eat fry bread and tea too. And it, so anyway, I made a really soft dough. And so now I just want to put it in some flour and make like a little tasty bread dough, soft bread dough. And then I'm going to fry it in some hot oil. And then I'm going to have that to go with my uh, my corn chowder. Okay, so now I want to talk to you guys real quick about the garden. Okay, I think planting a garden now and getting used to growing food outside, inside, window seal is so important. And in case you should ever have to resort to eating beans. Okay, my dough is really great this time oh you know what i did i used the coffee creamer uh instead of whey or what i usually use all right let me get it frying real quick you can make them either bigger or smaller it's up to you uh, i think i'll make four okay so here's the dough all right the dough is uh, one cup flour, and I have these. They're a little bit expired, but they seem to be okay. I bought them last year. Uh, I eat everything I possibly can in the stockpile. Uh, you know, expired, not <laughs> expired. All right, let's put it in there and fry it up. Okay, so uh, one cup flour, any kind, one and a half teaspoons baking powder, I said soda, but if you don't have baking uh, powder, I think you could probably use soda. OK, 
okay and the more you do this the easier it gets one quarter uh, teaspoon salt you can put a quarter cup of powdered milk or and then one cup hot really pretty hot water and then you uh, make a soft dough. I just stirred it around and then I put it in a bowl with a little oil and just left it there about a half hour. That's all there is to it. It's that easy. So you're all, and then, you know, I stockpile the big gallons of oil. Uh, the fry bread is not the cheapest because of the oil. Uh, so all you need is a cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons baking powder, um, a half teaspoon of salt, and you can add a quarter a cup powdered milk. Okay, this time I had mixed up uh, one third cup of coffee creamer and one cup water, and it just didn't take that much um milk so you saw me i just poured all the rest of it in my uh in my uh the the fry breads are turning out really good this time it's just a fluke sometimes they turn out really good uh i've never had a batch that i would say was really bad some of them are better if you have the milk uh that's always a good idea here let me give you the uh, the recipe for the umpteenth time maybe uh things are always going to stay really good and we'll never have to worry about uh, money or food but uh historically uh we do like we're seeing places in the world that are kind of being hit with the recession i would say the thing to do would just make sure you in your house have what you need and then I made some tea because I like to drink tea while I'm doing my miserable housework so I got the yards done one of my biggest messes is the food and then the other thing I did is I bought a new a lot of new Christmas ornaments this year so I don't feel like I can throw them out because I just bought them and they're new and they're just so much stuff so I don't want to, I haven't been to the swap meet for a long time, but uh, I do have a swap meet business. Uh, let, let me show you the soy. This is just two napkins and they've been in there two days, but if you can see that they've already sprouted a little bit, but I wait for them to, and then I just cover them with a plastic bag and put them in the window so they generate some heat okay it was kind of nice and sunny today so that was awesome my garden is looking pretty good okay so uh the reason you want soybeans is you can dry them and you can grind them into flour so the time to learn how to do this is now before oh these are turning out really good i hope you can see them because i can't really show you because they're boiling in boiling grease okay so um you dry your soybeans and you make you grind them into flour i'd say we need one of those mortars in case the power goes out a grid down but mainly uh cherry tomatoes can be grown year round indoors or outdoors onions just sprout your green onions peppers i have the little red peppers going this year and squash so that way you have and this year i saved all, every squash i had had tons of seeds okay so now if you why you want canned vegetables is so you can make these hearty soups okay so corn soup with bread or it could be crackers peas so you can make pea soup like uh if something happened and someone said do you have food i would uh rather give them canned meals than my uh canned vegetables because you're actually getting more food out of your canned vegetables peas okay i just melt like a tablespoon of butter i sprinkle some uh, flour 
I stir it around to cook the raw taste, and then I start adding milk, any kind, to make a, a thin gravy. I cook the can of peas on another burner, salt, pepper, and sugar, and then either force them through a metal screen or blend them in the blender and then add them to your um, soup, and that will give you a really good pea soup. Also, of all kinds of beans that are edible, I think I would personally rather eat peas than pinto beans because I like green peas with ham or bacon. Okay, green beans. So we have corn, peas, green beans. Okay, what I like to do with green beans is I cook them just like beans. I put either ham or bacon. I cook them down with salt and pepper, and then I make cornbread. Okay, tomatoes. So green beans and bacon with cornbread. Potatoes, you can make potato soup, which is good. You can put bacon or ham in that. You can make french fries, twice baked potatoes. Okay, now mixed vegetables. Okay, with mixed vegetables, what I like to do is I make tuna, like tuna fish with mayonnaise, pickles, maybe some onions, some relish. And then I drain the mixed vegetables really good and I put that in my tuna and add that to pasta. So you get a big pasta salad. So that's what you can use your mixed vegetables for. Okay, rice. So you can make rice milk and you just boil your rice until the water gets milky and then you, you drain it and you reserve the milky water and you reboil the um, rice, and you'll get like four four cups off, like a quarter cup of rice. And then when it's all done, put everything in the blender and blend it good. Okay, today I made coconut milk, and so this is pretty thick. I could use this in a a curry, or I could eat it on my cereal. I would just add about the same amount more. And what I did was I just boiled a uh, one half cup. Um, oh, I forgot. I wanted to make these. I bought these at um, Dollar Tree and I forgot they were in the bag. So I need to cook those tonight. So in the microwave. Okay. I will just put these. I find these to be good. 125. So I have a little meat. And, and they microwave in one minute. Uh, I've been, somebody said, well, you're eating a lot of processed food, but I have food left over from Easter that my daughter-in-law gave me. Ooh, these are looking good. They come out different every time. Okay, so uh, rice pudding is really good. And then the other thing, is you boil your rice down until all the water is boiled down. Then you take this coconut milk and you heat it and you add sugar. And then if you have any kind of mangoes, cut them up and put that on top. And that is really good with some uh, tuna fish or some kind of fish or any kind of side. Why that's good, I'm not exactly sure. It just, it is really kind of good. I just learned that. Another thing is, like when you hear this stuff, you can save your uh, grease if you want, just cool it down. People saved everything back. Look at my fry breads, these look fabulous. They're hot. So these are nice big breads. Now if you have these and some canned soup or some some cheese and some peanut butter and some tuna you can get by so okay so rice coconut milk any kind of nut milk with nut milk if you roast your nuts a little bit before you make uh your um milk they're going to turn out better uh for like walnuts or pecans i would roast them at 400 but for peanuts, it's 250 on each side. So either way you want to do it. Okay, so then when my, uh, I didn't strain this, I just put it 
Well, let's see if I can pour some in a little container to show you what we've got here. Something you can see in. It, it tastes really good. I could just drink this down. Uh, let's see, uh, here's a little measuring cup. So you can see, and so, uh, believe me, this is going to taste pretty good on your oatmeal. And uh, this is from Dollar, Dollar Tree, so it's a little bit sweet. But if you make a vegetable curry, that's going to taste really good. So uh, I would just stock uh, big bags of coconut because then you're always going to have milk. Okay, uh, nuts. Okay, nuts are very, very valuable. I think people are starting to really realize that if we have to go vegan or something, we want to make sure we have... I, I'm not going vegan. I'm just... Uh, let's get these out. Look. Here are my... Are they hot? I'm going to give them a little bit more time. I also have a lot of sandwiches. Okay, so with the nuts, after you roast them, you can grind them into flour too. You can make nut milk and you can make like peanut butter with any nut. You just roast them, then you grind them down to powder and you add a tablespoon of oil and you'll have a nice batch of peanut butter. And then with the coconut, if you have a vanilla um, pudding, just add one cup coconut and make a coconut cream pie. That is really good. Okay, now, <clears throat> let's see if I can get my... We want to know all these substitutions. This is good. Let me see if I can give you a close-up. We want to know all these substitutions for meat and Okay, here they are. You could make little sandwiches out of these if you wanted to. Let's see if we can get one of these open. These are very, very hot, but that is okay. Because they taste very yummy with tea when they're hot. I'd say this is one of the most valuable. Oh, these turned out perfect. Take a look at this. So you have a lot of food here. You have you have enough. Uh, like to, I'll have enough for a few days while I'm torturing myself uh, and getting all my spring cleaning done. I thought, why wait? Just torture yourself, get the whole darn thing done, and then forget about it. Uh, one of the things that I, I didn't do is uh, I haven't gotten rid of anything. So, you know, it starts piling up. Let me see if these are... I find these to be good. Have you seen these at Walmart? This is super dangerous. This is like, scald me, kill me. All right, so let me give you a little shot. Let me show you these cookies in case you've never bought them. All right now, and there's frosting on the back. Right now, I'm able to find really awesome stuff at Dollar Tree. This one Dollar Tree I go to. And then I have my mason jar. So uh, let's see, I need some pepper. Uh, try the coconut milk. Uh, try the oat milk. Try the rice milk. Try the nut milk. You know, now uh, try the garden. You know, start learning how to do that. 
Uh, I had really bad insomnia for uh, a couple of days. So uh, it's very, very late and I'm still awake. So I, I haven't tried it with the cheese and the butter and the, um, the cream. You want to learn how to make soup? That's really good. Um, let me show you. Uh, this is the vegetable stock. Or you can buy it in the can, but that is more, I want to mention a really good dinner I made last night. It was eggs, grits, and Dollar Tree uh, sausage. Not these, the big kielbasas, you get two. One package of grits, the small packages, and then I added one cup milk. Or you can add one cup water and a quarter cup dry milk. So that was, something's in my hair. That was um, an extra half cup. So my grits were more like cornmeal mush, like creamy. Then I made a microwave egg. I melted a little homemade butter in my, it was a little bowl this size. And then I put the egg and I pierced the top and I microwaved it for one minute. And then I roasted my um, sausages in the oven at 400. And so that was a really good um, little meal. So, you know, I had these Easter meals left. Dollar Tree, today I had a ham sandwich on one of my breaks. But I have hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, and burritos. I like to eat those for snacks. And you know what is really bizarre? You got to try these. These sandwiches are essentially the same number of grams as a protein bar of protein. And then, so, okay, so then yesterday I had the grits and then I had the oatmeal with one quarter cup oatmeal, one quarter cup half nuts, half raisins, one quarter cup powdered milk, and two cups water. And then I stirred that around so it was like creamy oatmeal with milk. And then I had my grits was like creamy grits with milk. And so um, I'm thinking maybe a lot of this gobbling is dairy deficiency. So don't want to go there either. So uh, let me give you a good, a little list for this in case you have a Dollar Tree. Uh, Target is coming out with like um, cheap items like a dollar and less. I guess all like kind of like, um, you know how Walmart has some stuff. I've been getting some awesome um, deals at um, Walmart. Okay, back to the stockpile. I wanted to make sure that I thought I had enough food for a year. So now I, and so if you don't, that is okay. Maybe this week buy, what I would do is if you buy one can a week, four cans extra a month, I would go to vegetables, then I would go to fruit. Fruit is good, though, because you can drink the water. Well, the vegetables, too. Something happened. So, vegetables first. Um, I like to buy, like, one case per month. But now, I was going through this food, and I want to eat all the partially open packages, and then I have two freezers. I want to eat those down. My uh, canned food, this is why I love canned food. I bought the, all the canned food a while back and most of it doesn't expire until 2025. So you have your storable food in there. You know you're gonna have some clam chowder. Um, on clam chowder, I make potato soup. And what I do is I just get the potatoes, I cover them with water, I put garlic, 
basically like this garlic and onions and I boil those down until they're really soft and then I just use extra almost the same portion of evaporated milk or you can add powder milk and butter and then you just add your clams or your oysters to that okay now this I want to go back to this something is coming okay there's these prophecies something is coming they don't know what is coming but something is coming um I know this lady who thought something good was coming in the mail and she went to a psychiatrist because she was so convinced something good was coming in the mail and so the psychiatrist said that is really a delusion and I said to my son I wonder what she thinks coming in the mail the lottery what can it be he goes how about a welfare check but it's like okay like remember Oral Roberts expect a miracle well, this something is coming. I don't think it's expect a miracle, but if you're prepared, if you have food and water, especially water, gas, you know, try to keep your uh, tank full. I'm really saving on gas. I spend $50 a week on gas. So by just by cleaning my house, God knows how many days this is going to take me. Uh, I'm fortunately i have a small house so i was able but i have a lot of stuff so i'm going through every little thing jewelry clothes books collectibles of all sorts ornaments home decor everything and i'm going to be taking it all to the thrift store in except for the stuff i want to sell so i'm going to be in a misery all week for me but then when it's done, I'm all set up for a nice uh, summer. But I want to mention to you guys about your food. It's very important to go through your food and get all the partially open food out of the way from the, um, the unopened packages. And so in my food storage for a year, I was actually, and I put that picture on uh, Instagram for you guys to see in case you have no idea what food for a year uh, looks like. I was able to pretty much fit that food under my uh, dining room table. So it doesn't take up that much space. And then what you do, what I do, is I just take out the food I need for the week. But I won't need that much food because I'm eating the uh, freezer down. And then I also have a big closet in the hall and I have to go through that too. So you guys, I will see you tomorrow. Please like, comment. And if I was you, I'd do my spring cleaning and get it over with. And God, and God bless you all. Bye. <laughs>